Welcome to our RxJS Deep Dive. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers. They want to know if there's an operator in RxJS that can buffer items and release them one by one whenever a signal observable fires. Imagine a scenario where, instead of dumping the entire buffer at once, you can control how many items are released based on the signal. Sounds interesting, right? Let's break it down. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To address your question, we need an operator in RxJS that buffers items and releases them one by one based on a signal observable. This is similar to the buffer when operator, but with a twist. The operator we can use for this purpose is called concat map. It allows us to take each emitted value from the signal observable and use it to control how many items we release from the buffer. Let's take a look at the implementation. We will create a source observable and a signal observable. The source will emit items while the signal will dictate how many items to release from the buffer. In this example, we will buffer the items emitted by the source observable and use the signal observable to determine how many items to release each time it emits. Finally, let's visualize how this works. The input observable emits items, the signal observable emits counts, and we release the buffered items according to the counts provided by the signal. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In RxJS, the window operator is used to separate timelines, while take last holds the output. This allows you to manage streams effectively. Here's a code example demonstrating these concepts. It creates an input observable that emits values every 300 milliseconds and a signal observable that emits every second. The output observable logs the input values and counts them, showing how the window operator and take last work together in action. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you're looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.